Hello and welcome to Loud and Clear, where today we're joined by Mr. Um, Alan Gibb from the Cord Company. Hi, Alan. Hi there. How are you doing? Doing grand, thank you. Now, Alan spent the past couple of days with us um, because the Cord Company have launched some very exciting products for 2021. Um, and in this short video, we're going to be talking in a bit more detail about Cord's uh, Grand Array. So, Alan, if you'd be so kind, tell us about these products, where they came from and what they do. Well, probably a lot of people know the cord company because uh, we obsess about shielding on our cables. Um, the world's changed quite a lot since I first started, you know, playing record players at home, you know, and, and listening to music. Um, in the average listening room now, you've got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Mm. There's an awful lot of uh, things generating sort of small but significant levels of sort of radio interference, for for want of a better expression. Mm -hmm. So. In the past, we've spent an inordinate amount of effort to try and stop any cable connecting the various boxes in your system from acting as antennas and picking up that noise. And, and the reason why we stress about it is because when the noise gets on to the signal earth of the equipment, even though it's quite small in quantity, it can have quite a significant impact yeah. on how well the, the equipment works. And especially in the digital age, oh, sorry, age, uh, when people have got uh, clocks or you know oscillators driving mm. the digital side, if you do get this noise onto the clock circuit, the jitter goes up. And probably the best analogy is a bit like you bought your fancy Mercedes or Porsche or Jaguar or whatever it is, and, and you, you are in effect driving a thing over a ploughed field because you, you've actually yeah. got noise on something which ideally should be totally silent. Um, as we were getting more and more of the cables, if you like, protected from that, we started to realize, and especially with streaming systems, that there were a lot of other products actually generating noise just through the fact that they work. Mm -hmm. And if you like to, to keep the car analogy, it's, it's a bit like when you want to go from A to B, you have to start the car. Uh, if you own a Ferrari, you really love the noise of the car. If you've got a normal car like most of us, you, it, it, it's just something that happens mm. to, to actually generate the energy to move it. And so a lot of components in, in some of the digital products, by their very nature, when they're working, they do generate or add elements yeah. of noise, you know, like the, the dis display panel on the front of a piece of kit. Um, a lot of manufacturers give you the option to turn that off or turn a lot of it off uh, to try and reduce that noise. So it sort of led us to, to look at how we could actually deal with noise present on the earth. Now we've been doing that for some time with the array technology and super array technology. Uh, and that technology was sort of built into the cable. Mm. So there's a limit to what you can do without turning the cable into a, you know, a completely yeah. you know, nightmare lump of difficult to you know, bend Yeah, no one equipment. wants more, yeah. more cable. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. So um, we had a look at this and, and we looked at actually trying to find a way to, to, to get rid of more of this noise. And so we came up with the idea of, of the Grand Array and basically in its current format, it's sort of housed in quite a, a heavy aluminium hmm. case. And there's a couple of reasons for that. One is obviously it's shielded, but the, the, the stuff inside that actually does the work is, is, is quite microphonic. So putting it inside a, a nice big fat box tends yeah. to stop yeah. it being affected by that. And the other very simple thing about one of these is it, it doesn't actually enter the circuit. It sits in parallel on it and we're only joining the earth. And with, with a hi-fi system, obviously all the earths need to be joined to get the signal mm -hmm. you know, from, if you like, your source component yeah. To, yeah. down to, to the loudspeaker. Okay, so, so this isn't part of the audio chain then, this is sitting parallel, as you say, rather than, yeah. so it can't, be, it can't be soaking up any music, losing any integrity. No, in it, and it's not connected to the signal, it's yeah. connected to, to, to the earth yeah, of understood. the signal. Um, and it basically, um, it forms a, a thing called a potential gradient, but the, the easiest way to understand it is if you've got all of these devices inside your, your, your equipment generating the noise, and that noise is on the earth, if you plug one of these in, then basically any high frequency noise that sort of finds its way mm. into one of these, there's a absorbent material inside it, which actually can turn that into heat. And if you like, it's like 
putting a sponge onto a wet floor it, it yeah. soaks soaks it up it doesn't stop the noise being generated but it reduces if you like the, the total quantity of mm -hmm. if you like mm -hmm. noise slopping around so inside on, the system so on that premise um i notice in your hand you've got a, a din version um you've got a, an rj45 or an ethernet version and i know that there's a complete suite of connectors that you do um in the range but if i added um different formats of these into a system into a sort of multifaceted system so some um, sp diffs or ethernets in the digital domain some dins and some rca phonos in the analog domain am, am i then using multiple ground arrays to get multiple benefits then throughout the system well what we always say to everybody is you need to hear it yeah and, and you know i'm very satisfied that they work they're very efficient so th they, they actually work quite a bit better than a lot of the other Mm -hmm. grounding systems we think whether or not it has an impact on your system that you think is, is worthwhile ultimately is is, yeah, is down down to, to to the owner of the system mm -hmm. but we've been doing dems over the last two days as you said in the introduction and a lot of people were actually quite shocked that you could actually add one of these to some quite sophisticated levels of equipment and get a very noticeable improvement mm -hmm. uh, to that system or that 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 piece of equipment so really the, the the best impact is to actually target the most noisy part mm. of your system so if you've got an analog and a digital source yeah you would start on the, the digital source if you're doing a lot of streaming mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then the switch or your bt or sky yeah. router box they're, they're they're made literally just to be very affordable yeah. and go like the clappers they're not really worried about the noise. The yeah. thing to remember about digital information, a one is five volts. It's virtually impossible to lose. We're not giving you extra mm. ones mm. or zeros or anything like that. It's what's coming along with that information yeah. that we're interested in because there's lots of parts of your hi-fi system that don't like that stuff. And, it, it, and even though it's not in massive quantities and you know when you're looking at sort of the larger streamers that, that, that that you guys uh, have in, in in the shop, you know the engineer has gone to quite great lengths yeah, to, to, to isolate it yeah. and stop bad stuff getting into yeah. places where it causes harm. But generally, w with a lot of designs, the, the the actual ground or the signal earth is, is if you like a back door way in, which mm. it, because you have to have that connected to get it, you can ha have multiple devices, all each in their own turn adding to the overall noise in the system. Yeah. So we would say start the noisiest thing. The noisiest thing is normally the switch sure. or router, um, but, but try it. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. And that's the reason why, you know, it's, it, it's great working with you guys because you guys have uh, invested in the ground arrays and you actually have, you know, all the different combinations here. Um, uh, a lot of the people when they were, they were listening to the demonstrations yesterday and the day before, so I was saying, well, what will that do to my system? And of course, Ian's and other guys' replies in the shop was, well, look, why don't you take, take it, it home yeah. and you know try and see where, where you get the maximum impact? Sure, and I, I think that's a, that's probably a good a good time to wrap this up just from a brief overview. So Alan, if you wouldn't mind just passing me the two um, arrays that you have. So um, folks at home, you're welcome to either join us here at the store in Finiston, where we can play you the difference that these devices make in our systems, but obviously we can let you take them home, try them in your systems. They come with all of the um, popular connections for digital and analog systems. Take them home for a weekend and, um, and let us know how you get on. But yeah, the feedback, having talked to Ian and obviously yourself and some of the guys that came yeah. to the, the shows over the past couple of days has been uh, overwhelmingly positive. Alan, thank you very much indeed. Pleasure. Thank you very much.